Okay, uh, my name is uh, Gaby. I'm uh, a member of the One Hype community, and um, yeah, I would like to uh, give a quick uh, overview of uh, a few things that uh, I've been learning on how to improve the developer experience by uh, debugging with the existing tools that we have. And I will be building on top of what uh, Austin uh, did with the scaffolds and also introducing a few things uh, like things that Ronald mentioned, like types. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be sharing my screen now. Let me know if you, you see. Yep, we've got your Discord. Nice. OK. And now we've got I'll, code. Nice. <laughs> I, I'll set up this uh, repo from Scaffolds. Uh, and if this is a, a without any change. And one of the things that I uh, first uh, try to do is, and this is probably most of you at least have, but I, I, if you don't have, if you don't have a really nice uh, views on on your smart contracts, that's probably because you can uh, use uh, an extension for improve that uh, experience a little bit. And this is one that I recommend to to have syntax highlights and improve your experience of uh, doing uh, and see your code. And as you can see, you have a much better uh, yeah experience now with having this uh, like usually you, you will usually do and with a solidity code outline and now i i will be checking checking out a, a branch with we'll be doing some uh, modifications to the to the repo and it will be introducing uh, types into the scene and as you can see now we have a mm, in every place, almost that we we'll, we'll previously had a um, a GS, a GS, sorry a GS, GS file. Now we have a types TypeScript file, and I'll be linking if you have if you want later to compare what what were the the changes here with the between the two branches. But mostly it's converting it to to TypeScript and and the yeah syntax for that and why we. We be doing that is to have a better static uh, testing, and I think that's uh, at least in my experience have been a really good uh, improvement to better understand uh, code and 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 have a better sense of what's happening under the hood. So, for example, here if if we get if we get if we check, we are now able to see what this object, this iter object that Har has provided us had inside and really quick have a better sense of what we can do with it and for example here we will be able to uh, get a, a a bit of uh, automation with the help of a uh, vs code to to help us also understand uh, what else we can do with this uh, with these functions so yeah, and then the other things that I, I include, if you notice, is this uh, type chain uh, import. And what that does is uh, I include this uh, hard hat plugin called hard hat type chain. And this is a library that you can, that I can link that later as well to, that is called type chain. And what it does is generate types for your smart, smart contracts. And this is really, really great when you are also uh, working with TypeScript because you can now also uh, get uh, type information for your contract. So the now what, what we need to do is just run compile or mpx hard hat compile. And what this will do is, um, oh yeah, I don't need to do yarn first because I changed branches. and. What this uh, compilation will do is compiling our uh, artifacts, but now we will also be generating these types in the same uh, task. So, what's on the front page? Yep. Oh, I think we have a, a bit of problem from someone. Um, 
Let's go this way. Let me show it. What do I really know about money? Mobility. You can mute. Okay. No, um, uh, what I was saying now that this is uh, finished, we can do the compilation of a uh, task. Uh, oh, maybe you can compile that. I'm not sure why. And I don't have it anymore. <laughs> but what uh, this will be doing the compilation of the contracts and then generating the types. And once we get these types, uh, as we can see here, this is uh, something that is automatically generated by by the type chain library. And what it has is like some uh, types definitions uh, for our uh, smart contract. So then when when we will rewrite in test or uh, writing scripts, we can go ahead and do something like we like I'm doing here. We will be like we usually do, and we will be getting a contract using iters. But then we can say, OK, uh, now you can uh, uh, give a bit of um, context to, to type chain, uh, to TypeScript, and saying, OK, this is a factory contract that I'm getting from type chain. And now we can get, for example, see all the functionality that we have. And for example, in this contract that we have, uh, in here, we can see that what are the different uh, methods that we can we can call to the to like like this, and this is really uh, helpful when you have like different contracts and you want to be more uh, yeah effective and and understand better what that's happening. And I found it really really helpful when writing a test and uh, in general. Uh, yeah, that was uh, what I wanted to show with types. Now, what I would like to show is uh, keep adding into the static testing. Uh, and I will be uh, for, uh, checking out uh, another branch that is Solidity Lean. And what I did in this uh, branch, there is not much more changes, but I include um, these packages, called, uh, a new package called Solidity Pretty solidity para pretty prettier solidity. This is the the library. Let me and I will be linking if you want as well. And what this this does is a plugin for uh, adding a linter to the solidity code. So once we have that set it up and we have a this also a prettier file here. What we will be able to do now? Let's check if we have everything installed just in case. But what does that will help us is to automatically arrange our our code with the linter. For example, if we have a really ugly code and we don't uh, have it really bad place, we can uh, okay maybe and yeah once we save it, it's automatically uh, fixed with a with a lint that is defined in prettier uh, lint uh, prettier solidity linter. And, and yeah, it's automatically also uh, saved because I'm in VS Code. I have a configuration that I'm gonna show next. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that's what I wanted to show with the Solidity Linter that also adds on the onto uh, into the static testing that we don't have to worry about. Uh, into these things that may, otherwise can cause a, cause a little bugs that uh, stop our flow on, on programming. And yeah, for the next uh, next uh, setup, I will I would like to show you also a configuration with VS Code. And this is a, a, a this is a, a particular if you are using in VS Code EDI, EDI, but I think it's a really Great for some things that uh, I'm gonna show next, but one of the things that uh, this three configuration uh, of the files allow you to configure how the VS Code uh, IDE will be uh, used in this particular repo. So, for example, here we advise to have this uh, few um, 
uh, extensions that allow you to use ESLIN or Prettier that are uh, two uh, great tools. I'll also recommend to use the this Solidity Juan Blanco extension that we just showed at, at first. And this other uh, Solidity uh, extension is also really cool that I can show you pretty quick, but it's a bit more complex that not uh, necessary for if you are not doing a more uh, more uh, yeah uh, complex things with Solidity. Uh, and yeah, this is the one. And if we install it, uh, I can quickly show you a few things that it provides provides to you. And now, uh, yeah. Now, if we go here, we see we have a few uh, things, uh, new things in in the code. And let me remove these things. We have a few. Uh, new things that appear in, in the code. And for example, we have some suggestion of variables, some information about specific things. For example, uh, we can get more feedback from, from the code we are writing. Uh, and some, sometimes this might be relevant for you. And for example, we can generate function signatures really quick for the specific function we, we want. And yeah, more, more complex things like UML, UML but a, a files or things that uh, but yeah just wanted to show you in case this might become relevant for you at some point but let's uh, remove it for now do not okay disable it and yeah to continue I now I, I would like to uh, go ahead and uh, yeah. do a, some practicals debugging uh, with the uh, hard hat and, and VS Code. And for that, let me start uh, first a hard hat node. Local chain here. Ah, oh, yeah, we don't have uh, uh, chain, I think it is. And now we are running a local uh, chain. And now uh, with that, I would like to also show you what happened when, when you we run the the test. I think I might need to connect or this might run into the network hard hat as well. Uh, yeah, this is running here. And one thing that I, I would like to mention to show you from the from the yeah it was the console log but uh, from from your that you can Actually, now with Harhad, you can include console logs in, in in your contracts, and that's really powerful when you are adding tests and debugging things that are more complex to to figure out. So, what we, you need to do is uh, import this uh, Harhad uh, contract from the from Harhad. This import and then use it like you generally use a console log, and you can start uh, getting this into your uh, chain. So let me check uh, if we are connecting to the test, hard hat test and chain is not, but yeah, I think we need to change here to local code because it's the default network in, in, in scaffolds. Uh, let me check. Do, do I need to change that in scaffold ETH or was that set correctly by default? I uh, no, I think I might change myself. Uh, okay, just double checking. <laughs> this is great to have yeah, you sure. here. Hit me up with feedback. <laughs> I'm watching closely. Nice. No, thanks. And yeah, uh, yeah, I have some uh, previously uh, issues on the understanding really well when I need to connect to the local or or the hard hat, but no, I think in general. Uh, it was okay. Hard hat here. Maybe. Mm. Oh yeah, I think. I oh, know, but you, we are we are setting the port the purpose here. Uh, and yeah, this is the console log that I'm I'm expecting, and 
Uh, but I'm, I thought I, I would expect it in hard hat chain as well. Um, yeah, but I, I will try to try again in next. But, uh, but yeah, the thing that I want to mention is that in here we are using the in the test, the set purpose, and we are actually getting the, the console log as well, like the message gender, the set purpose, and the test purpose uh, value that we use. So this is already working in the context of the test. But the cool thing is that you can also use it in the chain that you are running. And, and yeah, that's, I think, is really powerful. And the next thing that I, I would like to also show that I, I found it like really, really interesting is setting up a debug, a debugger with VS Code. And let me show you how it does. And you need to set up this uh, launch.json. And what that does does is, uh, yeah, sorry, does this uh, tell uh, VS Code where is it going to be uh, running this uh, executable. So we will be doing a executable of type node. This is going to be all this. All this is going to be how these configuration files are, are uh, setting up. What is important for us is this runtime executable that we need to tell where is going to be the binary of hardhat. So in the case of Kafolis, as we are working on a monorepo, it needs to be in package hardhat and inside the node module in the binary. This is the place where the hardhat lives inside, hardhat, inside scaffolding. And then for the particular task that we are running, in this case, I would like to, for example, test a debug test. So I will tell test network hardhat uh, because I want to connect to the local uh, hardhat chain. And also I will need to tell uh, where is the current working directory that I'm the, I'll be uh, working. So these three uh, are the ones that we want to uh, change depending on how we are, is our uh, environment structure. Uh, and yeah, I, I create another one for uh, when I, if I want to, for example, debug the deployment uh, script of, uh, and let me now show you how that uh, will be working. So now that we, we we'll, let's try to debug the the test, for example. So what we would like, what we would do is place in some in some uh, place a breakpoint, and then go to the debug tabs and choose one of these. In this case, the test. And what this will do is uh, start a process that is connecting to the hard hat uh, binary. And is, this is going to be the same as I will be running MPX hard hat uh, test, but now it will be running with the debug uh, set up for us. So now we can start now in uh, working on debug land and do and go really into uh, what is happening under under the hood of of the whole process. So for example, here we will be doing we will be calling eaters and get the contract factory. And now we will be able to see what all this uh, contract uh, object has, uh, this either object that create for us, and see the signer. I start doing a much more in-depth uh, view of of the the whole thing. And even uh, here, when we are calling deploy, uh, see what 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 it will be returning, and even place another breakpoint uh, more more. Uh, later to keep it up and check what is the contract now or yeah continue to see more in detail uh, everything and the same thing we can do it with a with the script if we would like to go and and check what is the the deploy uh, check something in the deploy script we can put a breakpoint here and the same thing uh, this will be uh, hooking up to the hard hat binary running Okay, maybe here I, I oh know it's okay. Uh, hooking up to the uh, to the binary, binary and now we're starting the the deploy script instead. And yeah, now we are in the deploy script and we can go much in detail of everything that is happening here. And even instead of putting console logs everywhere, uh, doing a more in-depth view. So so yeah, this is the debugging with with vs code and yeah now that we are uh, we see that 
And but if sometimes we want to see a, even go even farther and try to uh, see what happened with the transactions we are actually uh, uh, sending to the to the to the network. So for example, let's uh, do yarn deploy. I think it's called and deploy the, the the contract into the network into the local network. Nice. Now we have a, a contract deployed in the network. And now what, what I will be doing is uh, forking a other, uh, I will be forking other uh, branch or okay, here. Let's check out, sorry, uh, git check out, uh, tenderly unless, uh, uh, oh, it, then that we set up and what i will do, be doing here is just setting up my tenderly environment and one thing and just to show you uh, the only thing that i changed there was the this uh, tenderly values with my project and my the name of my project and the other thing that i will need to do is the initialize the tenderly environment with tenderly in it, and this tenderly, uh, this tenderly binary that I'm using is from the tenderly uh, CLI rep uh, repo. You need to install this to start using it. But once you have it in your computer, you can do tenderly in it. And uh, tenderly in it. Sorry. And what this will do is uh, detect that we are in a project and and that we are uh, connecting to my user serial keys Gabby in Tenderly. And I already have in Tenderly set up a project, a project with debug uh, demo. And I will choose that one. And this will uh, initialize the this YAM file with some of the stuff that this, this Tenderly needs. And then the other thing that I need to do the first time is tenderly export in it to actually uh, tell tenderly what kind of network I, I'm connected. So in this case, hard hat. And in this case, choose again the debug, choose the RPC endpoint. And here we are also able to tell tenderly if we are, if we are forking a network like run and show previously. So in our case, we are not forking. So not but all this other stuff is added to the tenderly file and now we are ready to export things export transactions to tenderly that that's the really cool stuff so i can take this transaction now and do tenderly uh, export and put this transaction hash and what it this is start collecting all the information that he needs and it will generate this for us and now we will have a in this dashboard that we create in tenderly the information about the the transaction that we just sent we can we can check uh, more things in this case it's a simple really simple transaction so it's not a lot to to see but for example i i have here a transaction that i recently debugged and this is a much more complex transaction in Rinkeby that has a lot of things and all this detail of all this level of detail is really difficult to have it in other place really at this that at least that i'm aware of. and you can see all the contracts that are involved uh, in the in the in this in the transaction particularly the events that were emitted uh, and filtered by different things uh, yeah and even go to the to a specific place for example that you want to have a deeper look and put the debugger and start to see okay here I have the inputs and outputs already decode. So yeah, this is really powerful when you want to go more in depth into what a particular transaction is 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 doing for you. So so yeah, this was the other thing that I wanted to to show you about uh, debugging. And, and yeah, that was pretty much everything that uh, I have to to share today. And I would like also to invite those interested that we are uh, running a, um, 
yeah, a seven weeks course on introduction to Solidity in one hive, and it's starting this week. So uh, feel free to join us, and, and and I will be also linking the the server we are organizing. But but yeah, the 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 format is of working groups. So and I will be recording the lectures uh, asynchronously, so you can see the lectures and then join some of the working groups to discuss and see the 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 topic of that week. And we are going to be covering uh, a lot of the stuff we, we see today with uh, scaffolds and also hard hat deploy. So uh, yeah, looking forward to, to it. And thanks for, for having me. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. Thanks so much, Gabby. Yeah, thanks.